Prehistoric Kingdom has shown us a numerous amount of animals over the past five years. However, with this game, we do understand that it's not just about dinosaurs and taking care of our dinosaurs. We also have mammals that we should be taking care of as well, specifically 10 mammals that are going to make it into the final build of the game. There could be more to come, but these 10 animals are a good wide range that we can pick from as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be going down on my personal opinion and ranking these top 10 mammals in Prehistoric Kingdom. Now, small disclaimer, this is merely ranked by by my personal opinion. I know loads of you guys are going to have different opinions. However, I do believe that all 10 of these species are incredible and look really well done. So it's not like if there was something in 10th place, it's more of a fact that it's still brilliant. However, it's not as good as I reckon for the rest of the top 10. So again, this is my own personal opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. But let's get straight into the top 10 rankings of mammals in Prehistoric Kingdom. So coming in at number 10 spot is an animal that we have yet to know so much about it as of yet. And this is the Boz, the prehistoric bison. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Thinking, why is this on the 10th spot? You know, it does look really cool and I've got to give the fact that this model is magnificent. I can't even lie. The fact that it looks very much like a Boz from prehistoric times as well as a Bison from today's time. And you've got the fur that kind of, you know, goes to the front of the body and then kind of deteriorates as it gets to the lower back of the body as well. Now the model does look amazing and I do love the idea of having a prehistoric Bison in my park. I'd love to see how it would attack other animals and how it would break out. So so with this boz there are actually three skin variants that are given now i do think they also look really cool as well that's what, another thing that kind of gets me excited for this animal and not only that but the growth changes of this animal look very different and very very good so as you can see the infant starts off like it looks like a calf type of thing from uh, modern day zoos uh, where you get to see a cow and you get to see its calf and infant then you also have the adolescent as well which is about at the teenage stage where you can see the horns are starting to grow through and then you have the adult stage where the horns are just humongous. A really good looking creature for a really good looking game. Now another controversial one in ninth place the woolly mammoth. I know loads of you guys would love the woolly mammoth and especially after watching prehistoric park Matilda the mammoth is probably something that you'd love to see. You know they look very similar and not only that but the skin variations that are given I believe there are actually three skin variants as well. You'll be able to see that they are very different and have a lot of correlation to what we see in the Ice Age movies. Now the reason why I have put the mammoth in night spot is simply because we have basically seen so much information on the woolly mammoth. We've seen loads of trailer gameplays for it. We've seen it in the pre-alpha build that I personally have. You know, and we've seen so much game gameplay of it. It was like the poster boy for mammals in the prehistoric kingdom. And you know, they kind of use the mammoth to show off that there are not just going to be dinosaurs, they are going to be other species and specimens as well. But not only that, something that actually did interest me quite a lot is that if you look at the skin variants for the woolly mammoth, it seems like one of them has like a brown white tinge to it and it does seem like it's very similar to being an albino colour, which I believe we do know that albino is maybe coming into prehistoric kingdom, I'll have to double check on that. But you know, this is a very cool addition to the game and again, I would just love to see a mammoth versus velociraptor or Utah raptor in this game, shall I say, uh, take on a fight. The Utah raptor jumps onto the mammoth and the mammoth sort of hits it off with its tusks, something like that, you know, similar to what we see in Primeval as well, in that scene where it was on the motorway. But yes, that is why the woolly mammoth comes in at ninth place. In the eighth place, something that most people would really agree with this is the Ursus. The prehistoric cave bear. Basically, the reason why it's at number eight, it probably could be a little bit lower, but you know, I want to show a little bit of love to it. But it's basically just the cave bear, and it looks very similar to Planet Zoo's bear, so it could behave in a similar way. So, if you guys do play Planet Zoo, you can go put a bear into your enclosure and pretty much I believe it could be quite similar to what we could see in the final build of Prehistoric Kingdom with the Ursus. You know, that comes down to attacking animations, running animations, walking animations, and how it live and eat. Now, since this is a cave bear, I don't really know how it will act, but you know, bears are very docile creatures until they are provoked. So, you know, this could be a creature where you just make a really chill exhibit where your guests can walk over the exhibit or around the exhibit and just look into the enclosure and enjoy your prehistoric cave bear. Now, there's not really too much to say about it. Obviously, the model looks great. You know, it's very similar to modern day bears. I hope you can see some variations between it as well. But the most important thing that I am looking forward to are its animations and also its diet. Is it going to require to have more fish than meat? Something like that. That would be quite interesting to see. So that is why I have placed the Ursus, the prehistoric cave bear, in eighth spot. 
Coming in at number seven, it's something that I actually had had a big struggle to put it in seventh place because I do think it does look amazing. This is the Megaloceros. The Megaloceros basically looks very, very huge and its stature and antlers give away so much variety and uniqueness to a creature. And not only that, but it looks very similar to the now extinct Irish elk, which is something that loads of people do love in prehistoric times. Now looking at this Megaloceros, I do think it is actually beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful mammals we have on this list. And I'm very interested to see what exactly it will do with those antlers and how it can sort of roam about in its open area. Hopefully it will look amazing in the snow time to have a reindeer feel to it. You know, you know we're coming up to Christmas now. We can get into a theme of things now. If the pre-alpha or the alpha is actually released before Christmas and we do happen to get the Megaloceros, 100% I would love to put in snow into its exhibit and have the island rain down some snow just to have sort of a Christmas themed park build and we can include this gorgeous Megaloceros as sort of Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer kind of thing and we can do a cool little exhibit just like that but something else that kind of you know just comes into mind speculating a little bit if we think about the Megaloceros I can only imagine how beautiful it would look in a huge open field with a big big herd you know about 10 of them just grazing in an open field and then one of them having a lookout let's say a t-rex then walks by the lookout megaloceros then calls and makes the whole herd run away and i love to see their running animations and how they're all grouped together that's something that i can't get out of my head now coming in in sixth spot is a weird looking creature and uh, i'll explain why but i believe you pronounce it the deodon the Deodon is a very unique looking creature and is very different to the rest of the creatures on this list. From what we see, there's loads of cool things that can be done with this animal, but it's whether or not it will be done. At this point in time, nothing really stands out from the Deodon. It just seems like a big, bulky sort of dog kind of thing. Very similar to a Tasmanian tiger. This Deodon does look very beefy and that's the only thing that I can kind of get into aspect about what exactly it is. The only worry I have for this creature is that maybe it could be used as an easy food source as it just looks like one of those type of animals you know with the Gallimimus and the Struthia Mimus in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and Jurassic World Evolution I do believe that maybe the Deodon if it doesn't have any attack animations could be the easy to use food source for big carnivores like the Acrocanthosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex that we are going to get in the final build of the game so I am worried about it now it does actually look quite big you know obviously it's bigger than an hu average sized human so that is definitely something that you can put on the list but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what what exactly is going to happen with this animal and uh, whether or not it will be able to attack. Now coming in fifth spot, as most of you guys will probably love this animal, it's the big ground sloth Megatherium. As we know Megatherium is a prehistoric huge ground sloth that lived during ancient times. From what we see on this game, it does look very realistic and hopefully it can move in the way that we thought it did. You know, slow, but when it was provoked, it could attack really fast. Stuff we've seen from documentaries. Now, the one thing I do really, really want this creature to do is stand up for itself. I want it to be able to defend its ground with its sheer size and power. Look at the size of the animal right there. You can see that this animal is definitely something not to be messed with. If something wants to take away its food source or wants to attack it, the ground sloth should be able to hold its back stand firm and be able to fight back using its body and power as a threatening display of emotion. There's so much that can be done with the Megatherium and I cannot wait to see what is done. Now moving on to the actually biggest mammal on this list. Surprisingly, I didn't think that this animal was actually this big, but a very long name, Paraceratherium. Paraceratherium, basically, it's gorgeous. It looks like a huge horse. The size of this creature does make me excited and it does get me to question what type of breakouts will we see and how can it kill other animals when threatened? Let's say a group of Utah Raptors are running and attacking this Paraceratherium. Is it going to be able to fight back? Is it going to be able to trample? Similar to humans, when it breaks out and it wants to get away, we've seen in Jurassic World Evolution that herbivores will run into crowds and kill crowds, even if they're not anticipated to actually kill humans. I hope that maybe this Paraceratherium, using its absolute humongous size, will be able to trample on these guests and on these smaller animals and see what can be done. But obviously I do believe it's more of a docile creature so it would take a lot for it to break out but it's still very interesting and I do love to look at this Paraceratherium. Now we get into our top three with our final three animals. The first one I'm going to talk about in third spot is the Coelodonta. The Coelodonta, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a big woolly rhino. From what we see it looks amazing of a creature and we've seen it in so many trailers and also a small little snippet 
basically only focus on the woolly rhino itself. Now, if we were to think of a rhinoceros and then also put fur on it, that would be it. Fair enough. It does look like a modern day rhinoceros as well. But the cool thing that I did actually notice is the fact the fur moves with the animal. You know, if it was to take a heavy step, the fur would jig a little bit. And that's really cool and really good, well done work on Prehistoric Kingdom's behalf. But what type of attack animations, again, will it use? Will it use its horn to defend itself? Will it try and headbutt other animals? And how would it try to break out? Because I guarantee if it used its horn trying to break out of a fence, there's a potential that its horn could get stuck. So thinking about that, Blue Meridian could add animations for the Celadonta to use the side of its body. Similar how the Hadrosaurs try to break out in Jurassic World Evolution. They run towards the fence and then use their shoulders or side of their body. I believe that's how the Celadonta could break out of its enclosure. Now coming into the final two, we have Hyenodon and Smile. Don. Two Dons at the end. Now, second place, Hyena Don. Not sure why, but the model of it just simply looks incredible. There's also audio snippets of this amazing creature, and from what I've heard, it does sound very realistic and very cool indeed. I love the idea of a pack of five of these animals hunting their prey and then laying on the body until it's been eaten by the rest of the herd. That image alone just Come so incredible in my opinion you know running through long grass and they all attack one animal and then they feast on the same animal similar to how hyenas do it in real life and to be honest it just seems like an overall perfectly rounded animal now obviously number one spot a creature that we have seen a lot the creature that we have seen in 10,000 bc ice age and also primeval we have the smilodon saber-toothed tiger as it's more commonly known who doesn't want a saber-toothed tiger in their parks this is by far my favourite model of any creature on this list. It really is incredible from what we see in the trailer and awesome cool HD quality screenshots from in-game. From the yawn animation to the running and walking animations, this animal has my utmost admiration and cannot wait to see it hunt some dinosaurs or even some of the boz. I would love to see the boz, the bison, running around and then we see three saber-toothed tigers hunt this one bison down and chase it down like a leopard would with a gazelle. I'll be looking after this animal for sure and give it the king enclosure that it deserves. So that is my top 10 list for the animals, or the mammals shall I say, in Prehistoric Kingdom. I am very excited for all 10 of these mammals and it is going to be a really weird twist to see how they'll interact with dinosaurs. So this game is not just about dinosaurs, it's about mammals and guests as well. We also know there's going to be a small exhibit with a Microraptor and also another small exhibit dinosaur. This is going to be very interesting to see what exactly it is, it could even be a bug, we could see an Arthur Pleura as well. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's countdown and top 10 ranked mammals in Prehistoric Kingdom. Please do let me know your personal list in the comment section down below or just let me know why exactly your favourite one is your favourite one. But in the meantime, make sure to stay safe out there. Hope you all are taking precautions. It's a weird time we're going through, but if we just push through, we'll get to 2021 where we can see Prehistoric Kingdom and all of these mammals. But in the meantime, Take care out there, subscribe if you are new, like the video and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.